Uh, this is Richard Sines with my weekly missionary update from February 24th to March 2nd. And once again, I'm in Rwanda, Africa. We had 19 salvations and we witnessed to 92 people. Uh, most of this week, uh, we basically were just setting up basic things. We got moved into our apartment and we tried to set schedules in schools. Uh, last week, we'd gotten in the first one we ever tried, no problem. We didn't even have to talk to the principal. You know, one of the teachers just let us, you know, speak to everybody. So that was great. And the first school that we went to this week, uh, they let us right in also, except after we, or once we started giving the gospel to a class, uh, we realized that they didn't speak English. They didn't understand what we were saying. Uh, so we just preached to that one class and then we left there. Uh, we kept going to other schools. We got turned down for the most part. I think it's because there's a lot of foreign intervention. It seems like most of these schools are on some kind of Cambridge program and they're all relatively new, like within the last 10 years. English is uh, one of the official languages here, but it's in transition. It's only been being taught in most schools for eight or nine years. And it's uh, so we've had a lot of trouble communicating with people, but it's kind of funny because if you ask people here if they speak English, most people will say that they do, but they don't really. They can't even, they don't even understand like very basic things like, you know, hey, what's up? Uh, but then in the Philippines, you ask people if they speak English and they say that they don't, but they really do. So I thought that was uh, kind of interesting. Uh, we actually only had three salvations midweek just because of the language barrier. And, you know, we had preached at that one school and then we went individual soul winning and we were having a lot of trouble communicating with people. But then one of the principals, he actually uh, told us of schools where they only you know, teach in English and the students actually get in trouble if they don't speak in English. Uh, so we went to some of those schools that he told us about and most of them, they wouldn't let us in or they said they'd contact us later, which, you know, usually that doesn't happen. But we'll what Kenton and I did is we just went soul winning on one of those campuses and that's where we got most of our salvations. We went soul winning um, on the campus of a school. It was actually a, a Christian school uh, where they only speak in English and that's where we got um, almost all of the rest of the salvations. They were uh, surprisingly receptive despite it being a Christian school. But uh, we'll probably be in Rwanda another month. It doesn't look like we're going to set up our base here, start a church here. Uh, like I said, there's too much of a language barrier. But at least we've got uh, places that we can go to get people saved uh, while we are here. And if someone speaks the language, you know, I think it would be a decent place to, to have a church. But, you know, we don't speak that language. Um, and I think there are better places that we can go. We're going to go to Uganda to test it out next week. We've heard it's very receptive. We've heard most people there speak English. Actually, one of the peop one of the few people that we did get saved out individual soul winning, I believe it was last week, was from Uganda. Kenton got someone from Uganda saved in Rwanda. So we're excited to go there. It's actually even cheaper to live there. Um, there just uh, there might be a few issues. Probably that we are able to get past uh, the border without any problems. But. Uh, God bless everyone until next week.